My name is Chuck Fresh. I'm Computer Care Clinic's PC GYN. And this is Computer Care Clinic's Tip of the Day. Chuck Fresh Computer Care Clinic's PC GYN, and here's your tip of the day. Most of the malware found online doesn't typically come from email attachments and uh, putting a flash drive that's infected in your computer. All that virus stuff has pretty much gone away. Today's infections are more of the malware Trojan variety. And most of that malware found online comes from something called cross-site scripting attacks and clickjacking, whatever those things are. Uh, I'm not smart enough to understand how they work, and I'm not going to lie to you about it like a lot of my peers do. But uh, what I can tell you is they work by injecting something called scripts into web pages, invisible programs that run beneath the scenes that you're not even aware about. You don't even have to click on anything. They, they're they already done their damage simply by you landing on an infected or compromised web page. And that's just that not just little pages, too. Sometimes the biggies can be infected through uh, advertising or by being hacked. So there's a million different ways to get these scripts inside web pages, even the well-known ones. How do you protect yourself? Well, don't run scripts. Unfortunately, that's easier said than done. But you can pretty much guarantee yourself a malware-free experience by blocking as many scripts as you can. And there is a mechanism known as an add-on that you can add to the popular Firefox browser that pretty much ensures you won't get infected by a malicious script. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a pain in the butt. With a script blocker, you'll have to teach it which scripts to allow because it's pretty dumb when it starts. It blocks virtually everything that you want to do on the Internet. And you won't be able to do any Facebooking, banking, or even YouTube without scripts. Because they're pretty much everywhere. And since there's no generally accepted whitelist, you'll have to train a script blocker yourself. Uh, the one we use is called NoScript. Simply install it, and you'll see a snaky little S up near your address bar telling you it's running. If the S has a cross out through it, your no script add-on is doing its job. Click on the S and you'll see some options, including the allow all scripts options that many people click on due to the, the nuisance of training this thing. But don't give in because it's well worth the effort and the protection that you will receive. It could save you a lot of pain later on. What I advise is for novices to allow the scripts only in the pages that you trust. I have to advise you that that method could potentially let in a malicious script or two because even well-known web pages can be hacked, but it's not common. But once you get the hang of it, you'll learn a little more and then you can selectively allow only the scripts that you absolutely need to get done what you need to get done. Now with no script, you could theoretically surf the net like me with no antivirus or malware protection. You're pretty much running buck naked through a snowstorm. But it's probably not a good idea for most users. I haven't gotten hit yet, but I'll keep you posted. No script available for free from addons.mozilla.org. Check it out, download it, and try it out for yourself. Chuck Fresh, Computer Care Clinic's PCGYN, and that's Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. <laughs>